Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. I'm Stuart Lee, and I am going to talk to you today about the updates that just came through for Google Classroom. Uh, if you ask me, they're pretty spectacular, even though they're very simple in what they do. They just make life so much easier on top of Google Classroom being um, one of the greatest tools I've ever used when I was teaching class. So let's take a look at the new stuff. So we'll go to my Google Classroom just by going to classroom.google.com as usual. And if you have not ever used Google Classroom before or you want a little quick how to get using Google Classroom in 10 minutes or less, uh, just check right up there and uh, I'm going to put a link to my other video and uh, check that one out and then feel free to come back to this one. So I'm going to pull up my new Google Classroom. Uh, this is my test class. This is where I do all my, my testing out and training and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I've got some students and some classwork in here. And so the stream looks a little different. It's a little more modernized, modular. Um, but they did put the class code up here where it's much easier to see the class code. And so with a click of the button now, I can pull up the class code and have students join if I'm doing this at a meeting or a conference or, um, or my district may not sync uh, students to my Google Classroom, which if you don't have students syncing to your Google Classroom, just talk to your IT department. It's super simple to set that up and then they can just go from whatever student information system that you have that you use with your district and then it'll just automatically sync into your Google Classroom and organize and update nightly and all that kind of great fantastic stuff. Um, and it's all free. Uh, but just talk to them if you're not doing that already. Uh, but you can get to your class code much easier now. Um, you can still select your theme and upload videos and stuff like that. Uh, the classwork is, 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 looks similar, it's just a little more mod, modular. But now, we can click and drag. So we used to have to click on here and move stuff up and down, um, and that was actually handy. But now, I can move whatever unit, whatever assignment I want around. If I want this one, you know, and this assignment down here, I can organize it simply by clicking and dragging, uh, which is fantastic. And so now, whenever I create something new in Google Classroom, and we'll make that an assignment, just for example, um, it posts to the top instead of posting to the bottom. And then once it's posted to the top, then I can click and drag it into the unit that I want, or if I have a test category, which I do, I can pull it down here. Um, it's just a, a click and drag interface. It's so much nicer to use it this way. Um, on my people tab, uh, that's again, a little more modular looking, but everything's basically the same. And we have a grades tab now, um, where we can go and look at our grade book, just like a grade book would look. And um, we can still go in and take a look at submissions so just like before now nobody turned anything here but you'd have your file here um, your document your slides your whatever and, and you could grade it and put the grade in and uh, add comments and then we could return it and that would also post the comments and you can have your comment bank um, you know all of this is part of the new Google Classroom um, but I'm just showing you real quick here and then you know once we're done we can go back after I return and we'll refresh this page and now we have our grade in there and if we wanted to go in and make an adjustment we still could um, so I can grade it wherever I need to so this would be great if you have like a rubric based po uh, project and you're sitting there watching a presentation with the rubric you don't actually have to go into each one you can just pull up your grade book just like you would in, in your SIS or in a paper grade book too so anyway in a nutshell that's the new update this is a short video I hope that uh, you, you'll jump into classroom and start using these new tools um, because I think it's gonna make your life so much easier on top of the fact that Google classroom makes your life so much easier too um, Thanks for watching my videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like my content. And uh, I, I still try to put out these videos at least once a week, if not twice a week. So I appreciate you watching.